Welcome to St Helens and Knowsley NHS Trust's Trauma and Orthopaedic Department. This short film is aimed at those who are due to come into hospital for arthroscopic knee surgery at either Whiston or St Helens Hospital. The aim of this film is to maximise the benefits of your operation by offering you an insight into what to expect leading up to your admission whilst in hospital and throughout your recovery. Knee arthroscopy is a type of keyhole surgery performed on the knee where we uh, use a camera to have a look inside the knee and perform any intra-articular knee surgery that's required. If you've been listed for surgery, your surgeon has either found a meniscal tear or a loose body or some intra-articular problem in your knee that will be amenable for keyhole surgical procedure and that's basically to relieve your symptoms, to get you back onto your sporting activities and to get you back to your quality of life. The surgery is done under a general anaesthetic procedure. So the anaesthetist will see you on the morning of the operation. He'll explain the details of that for you. Now, the surgical procedure itself will involve making an incision on the outer aspect of your knee. And if you can have a look there, and if you imagine that is your knee, and this is the outer aspect, and that's the inner aspect, your first incision is made towards there, where we use an arthroscope, which is a camera, to have a look inside the knee. And we assess and uh, record the damage that's there. Following that, we make another incision on the inner aspect of the knee, which is a similar size to the other one. We use instruments through that to actually perform the procedure. So if you had to have a cartilage there where the cartilage is removed, we're going to be doing that. And if you have a loose body in the knee that needs removing, we'll do that as well. At the same time, we have a look at the rest of the articular surfaces. And if there's anything else that needs doing, is done at the same time. whole procedure takes roughly about half an hour, 40 minutes to do. The aims of the procedure are to relieve your symptoms. So if you've come in with some pain or locking or clicking in the knee, hopefully we can resolve these symptoms. And the aim is once you've recovered, you'll hopefully get back to your usual level of activities and improve your quality of life. The risks involved with this kind of procedure are minimal. The ones you need to be aware of is infection, a bit of bleeding and oozing from the portal sites afterwards, some ongoing pain and stiffness in the knee which may require some extra physiotherapy input. A small percentage of people have a little numb area where the scars are, so kneeling can be a little bit uncomfortable. It usually takes two to three months to resolve and a very small risk of getting clots in your legs. You will be seen in the pre-operative assessment clinic at St Helens Hospital a few weeks before your surgery to make sure you are fit enough for the general anaesthetic. Before you come into hospital, make sure you have plenty of your regular medication at home, painkillers such as paracetamol and an anti-inflammatory such as ibuprofen will probably be required for a few days after your operation. You can check at the pre-operative assessment clinic or with your local pharmacist if these medications are suitable for you. This is a day case procedure, so you will go home on the same day as your operation. Please make sure there is someone available to take you home and stay with you for 24 hours after your surgery. We recommend loose, comfortable clothing and flat, supportive footwear to make it easier to move after your operation. Before you come into hospital, you can practice the exercises that are demonstrated later on in this video. This will help your muscles to prepare for the operation. When you come back to the wards and you've recovered from your anaesthetic, um, your knee will feel sore and uncomfortable. Um, you'll have steady strips or sutures in situ to the incision site and you'll have a compression bandage that will stay in situ for 24 to 48 hours. When you've had something to eat and drink and feel sufficiently recovered from your anaesthetic, you can get up out of bed. This is normally about an hour after you come back to the ward. Usually you can put full weight on your knee um, and we'll ask you to adopt a normal walking pattern. One of the staff will help you get up when you first get up um, and we'll ask you to try and fully straighten your knee when you stand on it and not to limp when you're walking. In most cases you will not need crutches to help you walk but if you are struggling with walking one of the therapy staff will come and assess you on the ward. Once you're at home it's important that you walk as normally as possible. If you have stairs, you might actually find it easier initially just to take one step at a time. When you're going up, step with your good leg first and then the operated leg to the same step. 
when coming down, lead with the operated leg and then the good leg to the same step. You are encouraged to rest and elevate your leg when not walking for the first few days. It's important to move your foot and ankle up and down regularly to help with circulation and just gradually increase the amount of walking you do as pain and swelling allows. You'll probably experience some discomfort after your operation. Painkillers will help you to walk and complete your exercises. If you're unsure what to take, you can discuss this with the staff at the pre-op clinic or with your local pharmacist. Ice can also be very useful to reduce pain and swelling. If you've any problems with your circulation or sensation around your knee, then please speak with a member of staff for further advice. An ice pack, such as a bag of frozen peas, can be used for this. Wrap the bag in a thin, damp towel and place on the knee for approximately 20 minutes. This can be done regularly throughout the day, even every hour if necessary. By doing this, it will help you to move your knee and walk more easily. Exercise is a really helpful to encourage your circulation, increase movement and muscle strength. It'll help if you have a go at some of the exercises before getting out of bed for the first time. You should continue to do these on your own at home and try to complete these three to four times a day. This is a circulation exercise. Paddle your feet up and down to encourage circulation. Pull your toes and foot up towards you. At the same time, push the back of your knee down into the bed. Hold this for five to 10 seconds and then relax. Sitting with your legs out, place a rolled up towel behind your knee. Again, pull your toes and foot up towards you, pushing your knee down into the towel and straighten your knee. Make sure you keep your knee on the towel and this will allow your heel to lift up off the bed. Hold this for five to 10 seconds and then relax. Make sure you never rest with the towel behind your knee. Sitting on the bed with your legs straight out, pull your toes and foot up towards you. At the same time, tighten your thigh muscle, push your knee straight and lift your leg about six inches off the bed. Hold this for five to 10 seconds, then lower slowly. Lying down or sitting in a chair, bend your knee, sliding your heel towards your bottom. Use your hands or the other leg crossed over to help to do this if your knee feels stiff. Hold for five to 10 seconds, then slowly lower your leg. When your knee feels comfortable to do so, lie on your front. Bend your knee as far as you can. You can help this by crossing the other ankle over and pushing your heel towards your bottom. Hold for five to 10 seconds and then slowly lower. Sitting on a chair, pull your toes up towards you. Tighten your thigh muscle and straighten your knee. Hold for five to 10 seconds, then lower your leg. Sitting on a chair, support your heel on another chair. Let your leg relax and allow gravity to help straighten your knee in this position. Hold for up to one minute only. This varies from person to person. The main things are you need to be able to walk without crutches. You need to have a good bend and strengthen your knee to be able to sit comfortably in the car control the car and perform an emergency stop. It's your responsibility for controlling the car and also to in inform your insurance providers. If you've had your left leg operated and have an automatic car, you may be able to return to driving sooner, but this all depends on the strength and movement in your knee. This depends on the type of job you've got. If you've got a desk-based job, sometimes you can return to work within a week or so, depending on pain and swelling. If you've got a more manual job, then it's obviously going to take a little bit longer, depending on the type of job. And this depends on the type of sport that you'll be doing, the type of activities you want to do. Um, following the advice in this video can assist with this.
It's important to remember that it's normal to have aching and discomfort and some swelling after your surgery, and particularly when you're doing exercises. However, if you experience any of the following symptoms, please consult your doctor urgently. That is marked pain or swelling in your calf, prolonged pain or increased swelling that is not relieved by elevation, ice and painkillers, fluid, pus or blood coming from the wound, and sudden reduced knee movement. Follow-up physiotherapy isn't routine, however you will see a consultant within six to eight weeks after the surgery. We wish you all the best for your surgery and your recovery and we endeavour to ensure that you receive five-star patient care.